everybody, I got my boyfriend to sit down to do this <laughs> zombie look. His face looks like this now, but trust me, by the end of it, he was so in character. Like, yeah. So all I'm doing is I'm putting some glue onto the face to where I want to create these scabs. Then I'm going in with some tissue and I'm placing it over where I put the glue. And I'm gonna do about three layers of this. So glue, tissue, glue again, tissue, glue again, and then tissue. And then some glue on top. And then I'm gonna let everything dry. Once it's kinda dry, I'm gonna just put some folds into the glue and tissue mixture whatever you want to call it and these are going to be the scabs So I'm going in with my beauty blender and some foundation that is lighter than his skin tone. Now what is important is for his actual skin without the tissue and glue mixture, the foundation was pretty perfect but for his um, scab covering whatever, I guess because it's white it actually came up later so you're gonna see me fiddle with this and put on a darker foundation and everything but this video was kind of trial and error so I'm going to show you what to do, what to avoid so you can get perfect look the first time around. Then I'm just going in with some translucent powder and I'm placing this all over the face. I want to set this foundation in place so that it doesn't run or melt or anything like that. And I'm going in with some green. Now this green was way too bright. You're gonna see I have to use some yellow to counteract it and everything like that. My advice personally would be if you have cream eyeshadows or cream paints or whatever to mix some green and some yellow to get a kind of, let's say like an olivey kind of color. But anyway, you're gonna see how I come to that. So I'm going in with some green eyeshadow here. As I said, I found that the green was too bright. So what I'm doing here is I'm going in with some um, of the same foundation from before and I'm just kind of stippling it on. I'm going in here with a dark purple cream base. Um, eyeshadow base but you can use um, an eyeshadow powder whatever you have you can use it and I'm basically carving out the sockets of the eye to make it look more sunken in and then over the eyelid I'm placing that as well I'm placing it onto the forehead and I think here I actually use um, some eyeshadow some black eyeshadow to go around the hairline and then to deepen the sockets of the eye as well. I also carved out the cheekbones to make them look more sunken in as well with the black eyeshadow. So here I'm taking a red liquid lipstick and I'm filling in the scabs and this is going to look like blood. Then I'm taking this foundation from before and I'm going in right underneath the a socket and this is going to create an even more hollow kind of sunken in looking effect. Then I'm taking some yellow liquid lipstick and I'm placing it all over the face and I'm trying to control the green that I mentioned before. So now I'm going in with an even darker red and I'm just placing it around the scab and this is going to look like dried blood. Yeah. 
and I'm going in with some brown hair gel and I'm placing this into the scalp and this is going to give it even more texture and dimension and help it make look more realistic. And I'm placing some of the foundation on his lips again. And then I told him to press his lips though. He could not even get that done. I was like, boy, what are you doing? So I'm taking some purple and shadow. And with his lips pressed, I'm putting that into it. And it's going to make it look more dead. So I'm taking some of the first red liquid lipstick and I'm placing that under his eye. He's like, I should just hurry up. And I'm taking a Q-tip and I'm going to smudge it out some. So I'm going in here with some concealer and it's a little darker than his skin tone. And I'm filling the scab. And then here I'm taking the liquid lipstick and I'm just dripping this like strategically well not even strategically just wherever it felt like and this is gonna look like blood that is dripping and Kevin here came with the genius idea to get some peanut butter and to mix it with food dye so blue red and green food dye and then just mix it all in his face he was so excited with home the food day and peanut butter came out and this is him full in character so i really hope that you enjoyed this and you like this video if you have please don't forget to give it a massive thumbs up and if you haven't already click that red subscribe button and subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for bloopers This is wait. This is food day. Look at the camera. This is food day. <laughs> this is colors and yeah. All right, here you go. Can I behave? What's going on the internet? That's good. Make sure you're in shot. Kev, just take it. You waste some time. I spit it back in cup. Kev. <laughs> Alright, be normal, be normal. Oh my gosh. I just come here a little too much to <laughs> Anyway. Oh my gosh, what's this? Here you go.